if somebody tells me that some tool is going to be 30% faster, I generally don't think the complexity of using something new will be worth it. But recently I've been able to increase the speed of my anchor test by 25 times. And I thought you should know about it. So this all started on GitHub. There's a big discussion about what should be in the next version of Anchor, and something that kept coming up consistently was Light SVN. So Solana Foundation, who do a lot of the work around Anchor, were talking specifically about the Rust version of Light SVN, which led me to ask the question, well, what's Light SVN? The Light SVN website really doesn't have a lot of detail, but I got a little bit more confident when I saw that the sample projects were from Pith and Temporal, which are two pretty well-respected companies in the Solana space. So I took a couple of hours and I ported my test to Light SVN. Now I want to point out that I wasn't starting from scratch here. I had a repo that was originally using Solana Web3.js and I'd already converted that to Solana Kit. Solana Kit is a lot faster than Web3.js because it uses Web Crypto and Big Ints and all the things that already come as native code in browsers and Node.js. So my baseline here is 25 seconds, which isn't bad. But my very first attempt using Light SVM was only three seconds. And after cleaning up the code and adding functions to handle common tasks, my second version was 0.9 seconds, which as you can tell, is a 25 times speed increase. Now I know what you're thinking, sure, it's Rust and Rust is going to be fast, but Rust is also hard. And my question for you is, is it really anymore? If you're watching this, I bet you're using tools like Cursor or Claude, which, among other things, gives you a Rust tutor that you can ask questions to that has infinite patience. There's never been an easier time to learn Rust than now. The second thing is, if you're coding an on-chain program in Rust and then moving back to TypeScript for tests, you're switching between two different modalities. It never really gives you a chance to sync properly into Rust. If you make a program and test in the same language, you'll actually find it's easier to understand Rust. Next, there's more high-level tools for Rust now. If you just want to deploy a program or create a wallet with a balance or take an instruction, wrap it in a transaction, sign it and send it to the network, I have some good news. As part of making this video for QuickNode, I've ported Solana Kite to Rust and there's high-level functions to do all those things now. The next thing is that Rust developers make more money. Money is like stable coins, but it's issued by the government. And the final thing is, you can do this. And I mean, you can do this. If you've ever used TypeScript testing, you can look at this Rust code and understand exactly what it does. It's not that hard. If you want to get started with Light SVM, Quick Note has ported the whole Anchor escrow swap app over to Light SVM with Kite providing all the high-level functions you can reuse in your own programs. Head on over to our GitHub and check it out.